But okay, let's listen to speaking of um, of Roy Moore voters. Frank Luntz, the ethically and follically challenged uh, former Republican pollster, out of Asta, according to uh, pieces that a real take on why people would vote for someone who it really appears um, was a predator of children back in the day. Big story this week, of course, has been uh, Roy Moore running for Senate in Alabama. He ne There's now um, at least seven women who have come out and told uh, stories ranging uh, about him from to be fair, uh, decades ago, ranging from uh, an attempted assault uh, to just inappropriate sexual behavior. But the, um, the, the sort of the fine point on this, of course, is that uh, these women were all in their teens. So one was 14, one, uh, others 16, 17. A woman told a story uh, this week of getting a phone call while she's in high school <laughs> being brought down to the principal's office, getting on the phone saying hello. And on the other line was Roy Moore, the DA. He asked, what are you doing? She says, I'm in the middle of trigonometry class. I mean, uh, this is, these are uh, uh, stunning charges. And yet we have seen sort of a, a mix of reaction across the sort of right wing spectrum. I don't know how much of it is sincere, but but just give me your your broad strokes on this. <laughs> did, did the howdy duty of atheism just say broad strokes? Uh, by the way, Stan, I got a story for you. Rowan Polanski called me on my lunch break one day and told me that Stan Cedar has never had a successful relationship with the opposite gender of his species. Let's continue. Another sexual assault allegation against Alabama Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore, a lifelong man of God and constitutional conservative. I can't even get through that with a straight face. Uh, Roy Moore, who once thought he might give his life to stop gay marriage, is accused now by yet another woman, Tina Johnson, of uh, sexual assault. Tina Johnson was in Roy Moore's law office in Gadsden, Alabama with her mother. Johnson was 28 years old at the time. Her age is not the issue here. It's Roy Moore's actions that are at issue. And as soon as she walked into Roy Moore's office, she describes that Moore started flirting with her. At some point during the meeting, Roy Moore reportedly got up from his desk, came around and sat on the desk as opposed to at his desk chair inches from Tina Johnson's face and started asking weird questions about what color eyes Johnson's daughter had and and uh, whether Johnson's daughters, I believe it is, were as pretty as she was. And as they finished up the legal paperwork that was done in, in Roy Moore's office that day, Johnson and her mother start to leave, Johnson walking out of the office behind her mother. And as she did this, Roy Moore came up behind her, as she tells the story, and grabbed her by the buttocks. And she says specifically, he didn't pinch it, he grabbed it. And she says that she was so taken aback by this that she said nothing at the time, not even to her mother, although years after the incident, she told her sister about it. Although, of course, these allegations can't be checked or corroborated, AL.com, of course, these allegations can't be checked or corroborated, AL.com, although, of course, these allegations can't be checked or corroborated, AL.com, Although, of course, these allegations can't be checked or corroborated, AL.com looked into whether uh, Johnson did have the paperwork done by Roy Moore. In other words, was she actually there getting legal services from Roy Moore? And indeed, Roy Moore uh, has his signature uh, on the child custody transfer that she completed with Moore uh, in his office on that day. So another day, another accuser. And the question really becomes, what's the best scenario here? And I believe that the best scenario is whichever scenario gets us to a Democrat taking over this Senate seat. I the best scenario is whichever. And the question really becomes, what's the best scenario here? And I believe that the best scenario is whichever scenario gets us to a Democrat taking over this Senate seat. I so Roy Moore, the serial accused child sex assaulter who narrowly lost the Alabama Senate election in 2017, to Doug Jones after numerous sexual assault allegations against him 
is running again in 2020. And quite frankly, why wouldn't he? I mean, he almost won, right? I've told you that despite being almost identical on many issues, Republicans and Democrats handle sexual assault allegations against candidates in their party very, very differently. Is it just me or does it seem like David Miss Pac-Man's elevator doesn't quite go to the top floor? I don't know. Just seems that way. Yeah, you, Miss Pac-Man, you handle uh, those allegations a lot differently when it's a Republican. You just believe them. What you do, now you forgot to change your video title and put alleged in there. Uh, but you did put it, uh, you autistically repeat that, but then you did put it in the description of the video. And of course, you were using this uh, as a way to slime Roy Moore. And now that it's over, uh, the fact that uh, a Senate seat was in Democrat hands for a little over two years doesn't matter uh, because all you did is you autistically repeated false allegations by a pack, which uh, Roy Moore sued. And as of now, he's won $8.2 million in a defamation case. You were all uh, Stan Cedar, who hasn't had a real job since Air America went down. And he's never had a successful relationship with the opposite gender of a species. David Miss Pac-Man, who, as far as I know, just sits on his ass, uh, repeat, you know, regurgitating talking points that have already been spewed around the blogosphere and, and excreted from this guy and then lapped up from another one and then repeated on another one, sits on his ass all day and does that. So this was just a coordinated effort, which this is all Stan Cedar and Miss Pac-Man do, is they just repeat and regurgitate uh, the mainstream garbage can line coming from the antique media. Because uh, none of this is true. I didn't believe those allegations. Doesn't mean I definitely, I would have voted for Luther Strange in that. If I was an Alabama resident in that primary, when Luther Strange ran against Roy Moore, I would have voted for Luther Strange, not Roy Moore. But uh, I was sure these allegations against Moore, Moore were false. And I also believe the allegations against Herman Cain to derail his 2012 uh, presidential bid were false. Like Now, if I believe, if someone sexually assaulted my daughter, uh, I wouldn't be happy with just ending their political career if it happened that way. Uh, something would be done, definitely. Uh, so all these allegations were false. These are people that just come up, and even Miss Pac-Man admitted it. You can't corroborate it. But why? So if you can't corroborate it all, why did you autistically repeat it for hours? I mean, I could have hours of footage here of these people doing this. Uh, so it was just it was a slime fest. Uh, it was a way to drag him through the mud right before an election, kind of an October surprise, and none of it was true. And right now it cost uh, eight point oh eight point two million dollars. Uh, Roy Moore is, I don't know how much it is going to go to his lawyers, but he's a lot richer. Uh, but that Senate seat was still uh, in the wrong hands for a little over two years. And I got an argument, uh, I might do a video on that, some idiot on Facebook a long time ago, another guy who doesn't have a real job and sits around on the computer all day reading news stories uh, from regressive house organs. And I told him then I thought it was false, and of course it is. Now, if he actually assaulted somebody's daughter, you know, you should get jail time. And But none of it was true. They were just doing that. And as soon as he loses, oh, then it all goes away. Why didn't you continue to pursue him? Because you did what you came to do to slime him and cost the Republicans a Senate seat. So the next time the Democrats come out with, and they autistically put this in caps, oh, this is happening right now. I put happening in, in caps, and, and that means it's true, and, and this is, and somebody's under investigation. Don't believe it, because uh, these people have a lot of free time. Uh, one thing they do, I've ran into a lot of people on YouTube that have, a, uh, they'll just try to out yell you. They'll try to out free time you. And when you have, when you go to work at your real job, they'll be online all day yapping. So don't believe the hype. It was garbage can material. Uh, I'll leave the link to the Epic Times article in there if you want to read it for yourself.